Rosalind Turek, an American artist now residing in London, has been called by the London Times the greatest scholar and interpreter of Bach in the world today, and by the New York Times, the High Priestess of Bach. Ms. Turek has just completed a 13-program all-Bach cycle for Granada Television in England and has come to America to fulfill a three-month cross-country engagement. She has just played for us the Gig in B-flat major from Partita Number 1. It's our pleasure today to welcome Ms. Turek to Camera 3 for her first appearance on American television. Her concert will be an all-Bach program on harpsichord and piano. Bach's music is universal and timeless. It survived a period of almost complete neglect from the year of his death in 1750 until 1829, when Mendelssohn brought Bach's art to the attention of the European world in his public performance of a cut version of the St. Matthew Passion. Bach's music has also survived the distortions of Romanticism throughout the 19th century and the first quarter of our century. Within only the last 25 years or so, the vast work of historical investigation into his time and his musical background is producing the beginnings of clarity, balance and understanding in relation to his music. But valuable as musicological information is, it is not sufficient. The performing artist must incorporate scholarship into the art of playing Bach, and the listening public must be given the freedom to react spontaneously to his great music without being held down to changing and periodic academic theories. Thus, today, I play for you a few of Bach's works on the harpsichord and the piano. Bach's music cannot be restricted to any single instrument of his time or of any other time because he did not himself confine his composing to a single instrument and also because the depth and breadth of his music covers a range which goes beyond a confined historical period and any one instrument. Now I shall play the Prelude and Fugue in C-sharp major from the famous collection of 48 preludes and fugues known as the Well-Tempered Clavier. Afterwards, I shall play several of his works on the piano. But first, I play the C-sharp major prelude and fugue on the harpsichord.
You have heard me play the jig from the B-flat partita on the harpsichord in the opening of this program. Now I shall play it on the piano, on which it will give quite a different effect from the harpsichord. And this effect is much closer to the clavichord, on which this work was more often performed in Bach's own time than the harpsichord. Then I shall play the great and famous Italian concerto, a work which is written for a solo instrument, but its form is based on the concerto idea of interplay between an orchestra and a solo instrument. This is so of the first movement in particular. The second movement is in Bach's most lyrical and improvisational moods. It is divided into two parts, the first part meditative, the second part more richly ornamented and rhapsodic, striking a mood of passionate urgency, which finally resolves again into contemplation. The last movement is in Bach's most instrumental, brilliant style. Formally and instrumentally, this solo concerto as a whole is a brilliant tour de force. 